What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to check out a Perseverance photo and it's from Sol 237. Now I'm going to have a little series about this particular Sol because there's different areas I want you to check out. What looks like rocks isn't rocks at all. And of course, as always, you guys get the final say and you can tell me if you do actually believe they're still rocks or something more. I simply tell you what I think they are and then you give me your take on it. All right, so let's check out this photo. Let's just jump right into it. All right, here it is right here, Mars Perseverance Sol 237, left navigation cam or nav cam. And of course, you can download it right here. It's a PNG, and it's 1288 by 968. Image credit goes to NASA, JPL, and Caltech. Now, what got me hooked on this is the straight line of what almost looks like stones. Let's have a closer look. Right here, you can see this kind of line going like this across, and there's some other shorter lines, like almost straight ridges here and there. And you can see what looks like these rocks and all this other stuff on the right-hand side as well as in the middle. Now, anytime you see these rocks, folks, take your burn tool, either burn on top of the rock or burn around the rock because you're gonna find some pretty interesting things. Let me give you an example. I covered this during our live feed, this particular rock, and believe it or not, I still have people who will say, it's nothing more than a rock. Why? Because it's dressed up to look like a rock? So for the people who weren't on the live feed, let me show you the one I'm talking about. This is it right here, and you'll get the link to it down in the description. Folks, wow. People actually believe that these are just rocks. Look at this. First of all, I'm seeing one, two, maybe a knocked off or chipped off another corner right here. One right here, one down. So there's one, two, three, four, five 90 degree corners, 90 degree angles. What could that possibly be? In addition to that, we have this other piece up here. Not sure what to make of that. It almost looks like this weird looking spoon shaped thing, although it's completely blurred out, but you can see it. Now I recommend anybody who's looking over these photos to do this. First, do an auto color on it. There you go. Have a better look. It's usually a little lighter. You can see that right here. And it gives the photo more natural look and you can see right off the bat I can see what looks like not only 90 degree angles but I can also see something here which looks like almost like a round circle feature right there and there but this is what I did I just burned on top of the rock and there's more to it guys look at this look at some of the weird shapes in here you can see something like a docker like I said right there you got this so-called rock on this side with some weird stuff right and we have something right here that was actually in the blur. See right there? You have people still saying, man, it's a rock. Now, I personally think it's two things. Either it's part of a small structure or it's being made to look like a rock. But my theory is this. They would rather have you see a funky shaped looking rock than to see technology. They could be like, well, that's shadowing and kind of thrown it off where clearly you can see that it's not shadowing. Although there is some shadowing down here, right down here. And if you notice, this piece here is actually sticking out. How do I know that? Look at the bottom right here. Look at the shadow. It's sticking right out. It looks like it's flush, but it's not. See that? This piece here is actually sticking out. And you can see it by here. Your eyes can be fooled. Now, let's get into the main photo. All right. Folks, like I said, if you see a rock, just go ahead and burn around it. And I'm going to show you a couple of examples of this right after this. Let's look at a couple of them and then we'll get into the full enhanced. This. This area here. It looks like more of an opening than it is a rock, which I believe it is an opening in the ground. There's something right here. Looks like it's open. This here looks like almost has this arch shape right here. Almost looks like it's doing this. All right. Again, let's just hop right into this. Check this out. Let's go into it. Folks, it's the pieces or the shapes in here that don't look like they belong. Again, here, where it looks like this arch, almost half round circle with this notch out here and whatever these may be not sure 
But as I go over this area, folks, look at the different shapes under the blur. Okay, there's a white right here, and the rest of it is under the blur. Look, there's another straight line, or fine line right here. Right here, just next to this white piece. Right there. You can see these white pieces are actually off the ground or open in here, meaning there's, it's like hollow in here, and look at the back of it, it's in this blur. And of course, take note of all the other stuff that's here. I'm just going to back it up a little, we don't want it too grainy. Here's another example. I'm going to go back to this for a moment. Check this out. Now, you don't have to do anything to this photo, but you can see something that almost looks like something tubular here. Should go a little tighter in there like that, right there. All of a sudden you see this blur area, but guess what? Keep looking. It still runs under this blur, okay? Perfect example. Now, back out, and again, and check this stuff out. I can go back and forth. I'm just gonna do this real quick. You can see the stuff is in there. You burn out the stuff and it pops out of the actual blurring or the overlay, depending on how they're overlaying it. Many people see rocks. I see what looks like a debris field. Perfect example. Other pots here. What looks like an opening, like I said earlier. But look at all the little pieces inside here. Some pieces just look like almost like angle pieces, but of course not completely straight. Look at all the pieces in between these bigger pieces. This area here. Let me show you this. Let me show you how just easy this is to do this. Okay, this object right here. Looks like it goes up, goes across, slopes back down, goes into the ground. We're just going to do a simple burn, okay? Let's just burn this area. I'm not doing anything. I'm not trying to draw anything into these photos. I'm just going to go ahead and just, yeah, we'll just try to bring out whatever may be sitting here. Take a close look at right here. I can see what looks like a, a line right here going like this. Okay. I can see other lines coming down. Do you see that before I even try to burn this right here? All right. So we're just going to go over it real quickly with the burn tool just to get an idea if there's anything actually there, right? Again, I'm not drawing anything in here. I'm just burning through this to see if there's anything in here of any value. Keep going over here. Look at this. Look at the lighter pieces inside the burn area. Have a look. Again, I'm not doing anything to this photo. I'm not drawing anything in. Look at the little pieces. And look at the round piece around this so-called whatever this is sticking out of the ground. Go a little more. You don't want to go too crazy. And folks, I'm going super fast in this. This is not how I do these. But I'm just trying to show you that I can do this quickly and still bring this stuff out. Look at this. All we're trying to do is find the dark spots. The bright spots will actually come out by themselves. Why? Because you're using a burn tool over a white spot. Again, I'm just doing this quickly. Just trying to see here. But check that out. I see mechanical parts laying here. When I look in the back here, check this out. I'm just going to go from right to left, stop it, pause it where you want. Like I said, I don't see a, a rock field here. I see a debris field. That's what I see. And again, as I said earlier, this right here, what looks like some kind of tube piece or something right there. We also have this other piece right next to it, right here. Not sure what to make of that. And this other piece. These are all under the blur. And again, where I showed you this cutoff right here, this part here was whiter and this was underneath the blur. 
and it's evident by just looking at it like this. And like I said, I don't have to enhance that. I can see that going under the blur. You can see the actual blur line right here. Yep, right there. And you can see the part actually going under the blur. Okay, keep going. And then we'll wrap it up. Again, this area here. Move it in here a bit. The little white pieces are what we're looking for. Like I said, right there. Pause this right here. I'm a little further out. Use your magnifiers. Check that out. Even the little pieces in between, you'll see some things in there. You just got to go, clearly these are not rocks. And there you go, folks. Folks, we've seen this plenty of times before, right? We've seen what looks like, like outcropping of rocks. We see... Uh, just like maybe hilly areas, some small wispy dunes, and clearly that's not even what they are. Now, do they have rocks there on Mars? Of course. Do they have dunes on Mars? Of course. They have all of this, but the areas that they're interested in, these are being dressed up to look like the dunes, uh, rocks. Again, rock mimicking software, you could put it over anything. It could be like an AI program that they have. It runs it through a computer and anything that looks smooth or intelligently made, because again, Who's programming these computers? Okay, we'll program it so if it looks like anything intelligently designed other than natural, we'll go ahead and make it, put like a rock texture over it, and there you go. This would explain why you see something like this right here. But like I said, I see things like that, and I go, clearly that's not natural. Like I said, there's about five or six 90-degree angles. That is not natural. I mean, a lot of people, for some reason, just don't see this. They go rock, because it's rock textured. It's got to be a rock. I know, but what about that particular shape where it has these 90 degree angles? It simply doesn't make sense. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share. It is appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.